Hi friends, this is Rakesh from Let's Make Learning Simple channel. Now we are going to discuss about the features of Java. The first feature is simple. So suppose if you know the C and C++ programming language, then you would have noticed that there are some uh, complex concepts that are present in those languages like uh, pointers, operator overlay and etc. But those things are not supported in Java. That's why the language is very simple. Anyone can learn it in very few days. Uh, within a few weeks that's the simplicity of this language next one is object oriented the programming language that uh, there are some conditions that needs to be satisfied to treat it as an object oriented programming language like inheritance polymorphism abstraction and etc we will talk more about these things in the upcoming videos in detail for now just consider it as in brief manner and then portable I think uh, I have already discussed how Java dot Java file is converted to dot class file. So the dot class file is a Java byte code. Java byte code can be easily transferred from one machine to another machine and one machine to another platform like another uh, physical devices. So that's why it's very really portable and then platform independent. The platform independent, uh, we have already discussed the reason for platform independent. The compiler converts a Java file. The Java source code to dot class byte code. That byte code is platform independent. Any platform can run that Java byte code. So each platform has its own specific JVM Java virtual machine. We have already talked, we discussed more the detailed information in the previous video. If suppose if you haven't watched that video, please go and watch that video. And secure dynamic interpreter. We will talk more about this in the upcoming videos. So next one is architecture neutral. Architecture neutral. If suppose if you have, uh, if you know Java C and C++, then you would have noticed that for 32-bit architecture, the some primitive data types behaves in some way, and for 64-bit architecture, the primitive data types behaves in some way. Whereas in Java, that behavior is same across the architectures. And then high performance. The ones that Java compiler gives the Java byte code. That Java bytecode is very closer to native code, but C and C++ always dominates in terms of performance. Multi-threaded. If suppose if you try, if you need to work uh, multiple things at that same time. For example, if you are using the Facebook, if you are trying to upload the status, and if you are trying to check the chat box, and if you are trying to watch the videos, you are doing multiple tasks on a single application at the same time. That is supported, that is also supported in Java. That is called multi threading and distributed. The distributed means the work is distributed across many systems. So, using RMA and EJB in Java, we'll talk about more about this in the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video. At the end of this video, you would see the channel icon here. Please click on that for subscribing the channel. If suppose if you like the channel, like this video, means smash the like button, comment it, and share it.